Hi guys, today we're going to check for leaks on our torch. We've got some soapy water. We've got our torches. So, first what you want to do is turn on your oxygen. That'll get it out to where it needs to be. And then set your regulator so that you can get some air inside your lines there we go I'm going to go ahead and turn this back off because we're going to try to find the leak so turn that back off and we can get your soapy water go around the fitting see if you see any leaks there Go around everything that is a fitting until you find what you're looking for. So we don't see anything yet. Let's see, there's no leaks. If there was leaks, it would show. So we can go over to here. Go over to the tip of your torch, check for leaks. Don't see any here. Anywhere you can check, you should check. So, not seeing any leaks at all. That's good. No leaks around here. However, if you notice, that pressure went from 2,000 to 1,500. So something is leaking somewhere. That we know. So we'll just keep doing this until we find it. And once we find the leak, we can fix it. So far, it's not showing we have a leak anywhere on our fittings so that means we need to inspect our hoses otherwise we wouldn't keep dropping in pressure like we are now we've went down to a thousand so where's our leak at the only way to find out is to take and water this whole hose down until we find a bubble when we find a bubble we'll find our leak so you can continue to do this until you see bubbles once you see bubbles you'll know that you have a leak in your system at that spot it's important to find these because you don't want the gas to escape and cause an issue with a fire and it's kind of expensive so we'll just check these hoses and we'll find our leak as you can see we're already down to 500 almost so we've lost from 2000 to 500 over about five minutes so we'll keep going and we'll find this leak and that's how you check for leaks.